Hey everyone, this is Wendy. This is Wendy's Prayer to Perfume. Here I do perfume reviews and talk about perfume, but today we're just doing a quick review on something that I've really just started wearing and that is really unique and I really like it. It's a Lush perfume put out in 2021. It is called Shade. Here it is. Shade Perfume, 30 ml. Um, I like this cardboard box thing a lot better. I've got Lush perfumes before where they just wrapped them in like this quasi newspaper type of thing and you know I appreciate that they don't want to have a lot of packaging but I didn't like the paper I prefer this it just feels a little better it even has this nice little slidey slidey thing going on here so here's the bottle anyone that wears Lush perfumes know what their bottles look like now there's shade perfume Lush 30 mil as we know um this is one of the less expensive ones I mean even Lush is on the our big bottles are $235 now. The small one, they do come in 30 mil for this. Not all of their perfumes even come in 30 mil anymore. And at the time that I bought this, it was $50. And the 100 mil, the 100 mil bottle is $100. I really like this. And part of me is like, oh, I should have got the 100 mil. But I'm trying to be, I don't need 100 mils. 30 will be fine. It'll be fine. Um, so as far as the notes go, what the notes go and what's in here, this to me is almost wears a little bit more like aromatherapy versus wearing an actual perfume. Like if, you know, if you're going to bed and you want to put some like minty chamomile on or something like that, just to be feel relaxed and, you know, breathe deeply and all that, that kind of stuff. But, you know, where's the line? Perfume can also make you feel relaxed. So, but this just has a kind of like homemade herbal component to it versus like perfume you know it's like going to the health food store versus going to the perfume aisle at sephora if you know if i had to compare the two um on fragrantica there's like a two note pyramid i don't understand why i think it's um olibanum and sandalwood there's a lot more going on than that first of all this has a lot of lavender in it if you do not like lavender speaking of herbs and herbal if you do not like lavender you will not like lush shade because there's a lot of lavender on the top note it's like all this green floaty herbal lavender on the top uh the heart note is guayaquid which it's kind of like this aggressive note it's it smells some people think it smells smoky i think it smells more like charcoal like charcoal and like woody tobacco and there's also like a hint of roses in it it's like a woody rose rose wood Rosewood kind of smells rosy. Um, so the middle, it's like once the, the lavender like opens up and then you kind of have like that, that kind of rough, aggressive, woody heart, which smells like tobacco and woods and charcoal and a little bit of rose. The, the lavender goes like this and then the guayaquid goes like this and that, that's the wooded heart. So the, it's a very woody perfume. Um, it's really, really woody in the heart, but it actually kind of lightens up a little bit about an hour or two later. That's when you have the olibanum and you have the vanilla and you have the sandalwood. The vanilla is not listed at all, but there's vanilla in there. There's vanilla and tonka, tonka bean in there, like like for sure. Um, the olibanum, that, add, that adds like the kind of, again, like meditative incense, health food store, herbal homemade component i like it i think it smells really good i hope i'm not making it sound bad but you know and who knows there's a lot of conflicting the reviews are all over the place for this so you know this is just the way i experience it but i like resins i like incense i like uh, olibanum so um so i like you know that kind of second act after the guayaquid um after that you get the dry down probably about three to four hours in, which there the sandalwood is. Um, this is purported to be a sandalwood perfume, but to me, it's kind of on the bottom. It smells really pretty. It's mixed in with the vanilla, almost like a musky vanilla, slightly hint of powder, tonka bean type, type of thing. And that's kind of what it is. It goes from lavender to woods to more woods, sandalwood, um, but it sweetens up considerably um, along with the incense. So that's kind of what I smell. This is very unique. I've never really smelled anything like this. When I first started wearing it, I liked it, but I was just like, kind of like, what, what is going on here? So it took me a few, a few wearings to really, to really like it and look forward to wearing it versus being like, oh, I'm in the, you know, it just took me a few days to get to know him, you know, 
some people you uh, you click with immediately and some people you just get to know them and and then you you know you click even more and like you build chemistry with them so whoop, sorry about that so we have chemistry um it wasn't an instant love it was an instant like but now i really love this like i said i almost am regretting not getting the bigger bottle but i'm sure i'll be moving on to something else that i get to know and love at some point so that's my review um lasts about three to four hours as far as logistics go lasts about three to four hours wears very quietly i mean they're a natural perfume company they're not except for maybe lust a lot of their perfumes on me don't wear real loud even lust to me wasn't isn't that loud but um but still nice uh three four five hour hour wear time nice dry down it is a sandalwood woody perfume um obviously male female anybody that's into scents like this um could wear it it's not particularly feminine though if that's if that's more your bag anyway um i hope this was useful for anyone that's wondering about this perfume and let me know if you like this review or didn't or kindly comment below and i hope everyone is doing well and i'll see you next time